all right guys welcome back to another hogwarts legacy video for this one this is for all of us pc players there is almost a million concurrent players on hogwarts legacy and i know a lot of you guys may be having problems with your performance even though you have high-end pcs that is not your fault that's just purely because the game hasn't been patched yet for day one and there are some problems here but you can actually fix it like i fixed it for myself and I'm going to try to help you all today. Now, this isn't going to magically improve it guaranteed. This may help and it may not help at the same time. Just depends on your hardware. Sometimes these things can help a lot of people. Sometimes it just doesn't help at all. But I hope you can try these and it will help you too. So first off, we're going to be looking at the computer settings. And then we're going to go in game and I'm going to give you my exact PC settings for graphics and my just overall game. I have seen a huge improvement in my performance. No stutters and no FPS drops as much as it was before. So first things first, we're going to go on the desktop and we're going to search for graphic settings. From here you want to turn your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling to on. Now from here you want to restart your computer to apply these changes. Next up you want to search for file explorer options. From here you want to open up this and go to view. You want to make sure that you show hidden files ok make sure that this is checked click apply and ok. Next up we're going to find where we installed windows. For me it's in local C drive and then it's in users username app data local and you want to find hogwarts legacy from here you want to go into saved config windows number editor and you want to find engine from here what you want to do is actually copy this folder and make a copy in a backup folder for me, I made a backup folder on my desktop. So what I'm going to do here is paste this in just in case we do have some mistakes that happen later on and we want to backtrack. There it is. You have it saved. So back to the engine folder, what you want to do is click on edit and you will have this page right here. What you want to do is scroll all the way down and you want to click paste. Now I will give you this in the description below. Go ahead and paste this down all the way at the bottom. Now for this section right here are streaming pool size. Now if your graphics card has less than 8 gigabytes of VRAM, you want to have 3072. Now if it has more than 8 gigabytes of VRAM, you want to change this to 4096. Okay, once that's done, you can go on file and save. The final step here on the desktop is for NVIDIA users. What you want to do is open up your NVIDIA control panel. Go to manage 3D settings and scroll down until you find the shader cache size. Now you want to change this from driver default to 10 gigabytes. All right, now we are on Hogwarts itself. So here I'm going to show you and you can copy down my exact settings or change it up a bit depending on your hardware. I am running a 3070 Ti with a 12 core i5. 12 600k i think cpu so mine's pretty decent i can actually run it to a certain um setting depending if you can run it or not i would recommend high settings even if you have a good computer and if you really want to go crazy go for ultra if you want to be safe go for medium settings so we're going to go into the settings tab and first off we're going to start with the display options first you want full uh windows full screen there's no full screen option but windows full screen is going to have to do from here, you want to go down to upscale type AMD FSR2. Okay, make sure you have that. Doesn't matter if you have an NVIDIA, Intel, or AMD uh, processor, just go for AMD FSR2. The upscale mode is AMD FSR2 quality. And you want to upscale your sharpness all the way to one, maxed out. Okay. NVIDIA Reflex, uh, low latency, you want to have that on. V-Sync, I like to keep mine on. I know it's stupid, I know, but that's just me. You can turn that off and your frame rate is up to your monitor's refresh rate. Mine is 144, yours may be 60, 75 or even up to 165. That depends on your monitor. Next up, my field of view is at 20. That's personal preference. Motion blur off depth of field on that's just personal preference that's just because i love the way that it shows the game's uh, quality uh, chromatic abbreviation is off and film grain is off 
Next up, we're going to be going into the graphics options, okay? Effects quality. Make sure this is on high or ultra, depending on what you can handle. I can handle ultra, but I'll just put it on high for now. Material quality. Put that on high or ultra, depending on if you can run it or not. Fog quality and sky quality. Okay. Anything that says volumetric, as you guys can see in the top right, okay, anything that says volumetric, make sure this is on low. You do not need this at all. It's going to run down your FPS. It's going to destroy your graphics card and your CPU. You do not need it. Foilage quality. Make sure this is as high as possible for your computer hardware. This is what's going to make the trees and the greenery and the bushes look very, very nice. This game is filled with that. Minus on ultra. Post processing quality, make sure this is off, okay? Low, make sure that is on low. All right, uh, shadow quality, high to ultra. You wanna make those look nice. Texture quality, high or ultra, okay? View distance quality, make sure this is on either medium or high or even ultra, depending on if you can handle it. Population quality, um, it again it depends on your hardware mine's on medium i don't really see a much difference in ultra high or medium i just keep it on medium and ray tracing <laughs> make sure this is off i know we love ray tracing i hope that one day we can actually use it on this game but right now it's just an fps and performance killer it's unrunnable you cannot use ray tracing in this game do not even try right now hopefully soon Okay, and this is how my game looks. I have it in the top right so that you guys can see my frames. I'm getting over 100 frames over here in the dark forest. And now I'm going to leave the dark forest and see if our frames do drop dramatically or just a tiny bit depending on where we are. So we are still at over 100 frames in the open world. And remember, I am running everything right now on ultra settings. The thing that helped me out the most was that sky and fog and post-processing and all those settings that we did at the start. It will help you guys. It will make your game look absolutely amazing with keeping that performance and that quality up. Now, like I said, depending on your hardware, make sure to change certain things to low or to medium, even if you cannot handle it that well. If you're getting below 60 frames, change a few settings here and there and you should be fine. Right now, most things I'm running on Ultra and I'm getting easily up to 100 FPS, if not 90 to 80. Very, very good for you guys. Hopefully this did help. And if it didn't, I'm sorry. Hopefully that later on you can maybe find your perfect settings when the uh, day one patch comes out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all on the next one.